Hello Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node Sun. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Pisces. Please keep in mind the Twin Flame reading for the sign of Pisces. Excuse me. Please keep in mind that as it's a general read, it will not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, please make sure to check your other placements, crosswatch, or check back next time. Now let's see what are the energies for Pisces. How Pisces is viewing their connection with their twin flame, please. What is in their mind space? For the sign of Pisces, please. Three of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. Get you one more card. One more card, please. For Pisces. Five of Cups. Right, with the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Swords here, Four of Cups here at the bottom of the deck, I do actually see that you are, you are at this time taking care of yourself a lot. You see, I, I, I feel like you are seeing a lot of friends, like you're going out a lot. Um, there is some kind of disappointment or regret lingering down there, you know. You look happy, everybody see you as happy, everybody see you as content. Mm. Are you putting a little bit of a poker face, Pisces? Sometimes it happens, sometimes it happens, yes, when we hurt and we suffer. Uh, we still like our friends to see us happy and to see us, you know, we're even feisty here and this sort of thing. But nevertheless, I see that there is some kind of unhappiness lingering there for you. I'm not sure what is it about. With the Ace of Swords, it feels to me like some kind of revelation was made here. Some kind of conversation. I'm not sure what was it about. Some kind of information came to your, to your awareness that makes you feel sad, even though I do see you taking good care of yourself. I do see you uh, overall in a good spirit here and all, all your friends are definitely thinking that you are just alright but you are not aren't you let's see how this person is viewing their connection with Pisces what is in their mind space five of swords ten of wands Get one more card. One more card. Three of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. The Moon. Right, Pisces. I do see that this person, your twin flame, at this time. I feel like they are choosing their pride. Their pride plays a very big role here for some reason and I do see... You see the Three of Pentacles here, this card? It's a very prideful person and it burdens them it burdens them, but nevertheless, they will never show, they will never say. With the moon here and seven of wands, I see that they keep you, they keep you, you know, at least at an arm distance. They keep you, they don't let you in. They, um, they don't want to look vulnerable or sensitive, even though it burdens them. It's difficult mask to wear. Nevertheless, they're still wearing it. Maybe this is why 
you feel so sad because in especially in the twin flame connections we do energetically feel love from the other person that the, the twin flame has for us but then then they just cold as eyes then they just go away and and you don't understand why why would that be why would they not open up to you this is how it feels to you now it is burdensome for them they can hardly hardly bear this burden but still you know i see the i see a lot of pride on the way a lot of pride a lot of inability to be vulnerable within the relationship let's see how pisces feel <clears throat> about this connection yeah like i said pisces you are putting on the poker face all your friends think that you are all right even though there is like You're quite conflicted inside, aren't you? The world... Oh, good. Good. With the Queen of Cups and the Empress here at the bottom of the deck, I do see... You could be dealing with Taurus or another fixed sign, like maybe Scorpio, maybe uh, Leo or Aquarius. Nevertheless, I do see... I do see that uh, this is about to change. Your sadness, your this not being able to understand things, it is going to change for you. It is going to change. For some of you, actually, I do see you being more busy about some kind of trip you're going to take. You're going to travel, or you love traveling, or you're going to travel, you're planning to travel, you're invited somewhere. Uh, I do see that through all these conflicting energies within yourself, You are actually, you are actually indeed feeling feeling quite good here, quite in your power. When you connect to your emotions truly, when you connect to your true self, uh, because I always see the Queen of Cups as actually as Pisces, because the Queen of Cups is is very compassionate, very understanding, very kind, very highly intuitive person. And uh, I do see this as being you, and I do see when, whenever you connect to yourself, you can easily access this place where you are standing in your power, where nothing and nobody uh, can hurt you or treat you the wrong way, or, you know, where you know your own worth. Right? Even though I see a little bit of conflicted energy here, I see a little bit of, you know... Um, A little bit of uh, this this fear of, of letting go of this connection. You are afraid. I understand. But I also do see you moving actually uh, moving away from this energy with the world here. I do see that the world always tells me about the closing of one cycle and the opening of the other, right? So I do see that um, you are actually closing this cycle at least for yourself. Uh, of this of this inner conflict you know when when you feel for people so strongly and so deeply and they cannot simply cannot uh, act on on their own feelings like you do and it disappoints you and and you are i see i see that you are trying to you're trying to help them open up but they wouldn't and sometimes you just should leave it alone and let them deal with their own things on their own. And just just be in, in your power, be in your own happiness. And I see that you are realizing this. And I see that uh, this, this your habit of being uh, troubled and worried and conflicted within yourself, it is either finished already or it's about to, it's about to finish. It's, it, this energy is coming to an end. Anyway, let's see what's in this person's heart space, the Pisces. Queen of Cups, Six of Pentacles. They do love you, Pisces, don't they? They do. Let's get one more card. Eight 
eight of cups but you see like I said they do love you they do understand that you could have this this equal give and take within this relationship they love you no less than you love them mark my word nevertheless with the eight of uh, eight of cups here I do see that they are stubbornly trying to get rid of this, to, to detach from this energy, right? They are stubbornly trying to, to get away from whatever they feel for you. It's funny, isn't it? But, uh, like I said, it's like this person is so afraid to be, to be open and vulnerable they are even at this time, at least right now, they feel like, you know, it's it's like they feel the feelings and and they don't want to feel them. They are like fighting this with all their with, with all their God just not to feel anything, even though they do and very strongly, exactly the way you do. They feel about you exactly the way you feel about them. Let's see what actions are they going to take, Knight of Wands. Four of Wands, that's interesting. That's very interesting. But let's get one more card. One more card, please. Right. Two of Swords. Let's see what actions Pisces is going to take towards this person. What actions Pisces is going to take towards this person? Ten of Wands. Justice could be dealing with Libra. Maybe you have a strong Libra placement in your chart. Let's get you one more card. One more card. Nine of coins, very nice. Right, with the queen of swords and the nine of cups here at the bottom of the deck on your side. Let's talk about this. Page of pentacles here, the moon, the king of swords. Right. Look what I see here with this person. Oh my goodness, it's a very strange person here. I do not know what they have to hear with their pride. They want they want to not just come towards you, they want to run like like there is no tomorrow towards you. They want to be with you. They want to build with you. But you see with this uh, two of swords as as a crossing energy here, they are stuck. They stuck, they can't make a choice, they can't, and they stuck because of swords, swords is thoughts, it's always mind, their mind is keeping them stuck, unable to move in the direction they want to move, they want to move towards you, I can see that, I can tell you that much. They want to, but I see that uh, they are going to spend some time being stuck some little bit of time with the page of pentacles and the moon here i do see that <clears throat> it is something very new for them to do they have never done this before they have never opened up for somebody they have never been vulnerable before they have never let go of their pride before you know pride sometimes is a good thing but sometimes it's keeping us away from being authentic and this is exactly the case so I do see that it's very difficult and it's scary for them. Nevertheless, with the King of Swords following uh, on their side, I do see that there could be there could be a moment when they will be ready to take this action, right? When they will be ready to uh, to actually look at the truth of the situation, to to act on this truth. I cannot tell you that it's going to happen right now. That's not what I see. 
right? Right now the energies are like this. They want to, but they don't know how. Right? Nevertheless, I do see that I do see that there is an energy for this person to, you know, to even transmute their pride. It feels to me like because it is possible. It is possible to stop serving your own pride and to let your own pride to serve you. And this is what's going to happen with this person. I see them moving in this direction. How fast they will be there, I cannot tell you, but I see them moving in this direction. As for you, Pisces, actually, I see good things happening for you here within this... Uh, whatever is happening between you and this person or within this connection, it is difficult for you. But like I said, I see the end of this cycle here. I see you actually bringing yourself to such a clarity, such a harmony and balance that lets you to become fully independent with the nine of um, coins here and the nine of cups that I see at the bottom of the deck on your side. I do see you becoming fully independent here financially, emotionally. I see you moving towards your own power. Whatever it means, I do see that this is happening because of the burdens of this connection, actually. It is, it is teaching you how to stand in your own power, how not to need, authentically not need anybody. And I do see you doing this, right? The thing is that with the Queen of Swords on your side and the King of Swords on their side, I do see that at some point of all this action you are going to be on the same frequency, you and your twin flame. As soon as they let their pride to serve them, they're going to be on the same frequency with you, then you can come together effortlessly. Right? I, I do not see this happening right now, right this very moment, but I do see that the energy is present there. It's already waiting. It's just waiting for this change to happen within you and within them. Right? So, uh, yeah, that's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope this helped in some way, and I hope to see you again. Bye, Pisces.